Um, I guess, I guess enough preaching. <laughs> Alright, game number four right now, right here. LG IM Seed up against Marine King Prime. So, this is the map choice of Seed. It's going to be Newkirk City. He's going to be our blue Protoss on the left side of the map. His opponent, currently two wins and one loss in this best of seven. Of course, a loss doesn't count. Well, it kind of counts. Uh, it's going to be our pink Terran playing under Lucy Prime. It is Marine King Prime. So, Seed has to make something happen, guys. Uh, Seed is is a very good Protoss player. Uh, I think he's easily top five, maybe even something like top three in the HOTS beta. He's played a lot of games. Last time I looked at his record, he had something like a 65% win rate in uh, in Heart of the Swarm, PBT specifically, and C or, uh, excuse me, Marine King Prime had something like 100, right? Boo-hoo, 100% 100, 100 win rate. Well, he only played four games, so you can expect it. Maybe if he would have played a little bit more than that, he might have like a 90% rate? 80%? You never know. So Newkirk City is going to be the choice here of Seed. Uh, pretty interesting choice. Uh, I mean, the map is, is very, very large. But don't be fooled by these spawn positions, guys. You cannot spawn in the upper right. You cannot spawn in the upper left. This is a one-on-one -on -one map. You are basically stuck in the bottom right or the bottom left. So we'll see how this kind of plays into, uh, into either player's favor. Marine King, of course, has really shown us that he's still very committed to uh, kind of the play he did in Wings of Liberty. He's very, very aggressive, very tech-oriented. And Seed, uh, I mean, it's not like he's not responding to it. It's just very, very hard for Protoss players in general to be dealing with Mech in Terran versus Protoss. The army for Terran gets so large, um, and it's it's really cool from, from last game because Marine King basically hit a, a, a timing right before Seed was transitioning into Storm. And uh, I, I also think Seed should have should have definitely needed more more Immortals to, to deal with the Siege Tank count. I mean, Immortals, still basically the hard counter against Siege Tanks. But whatever, this is another game. We'll see what Seed can show us. Looks like right now he's going for basically what he's been doing every single game so far, going up to this gateway, going up to the, the Cybernetics Core. Marine King doing the same thing he did last game, winning, uh, going up to CC first, adding on Barracks. We'll have to see uh, what tech he decides to go from here. When is he going to grab his uh, his first and second gases? And Seed going into Mothership Core. Okay, so a little bit different from Seed. Two games in a row, we saw him go for Stargate play. But now he's going more Mothership Core. And let's talk a little bit about the Mothership Core. So the abilities is the Photon Overcharge. Basically what that is, is uh, it's a cannon on your Nexus. So basically, you know, kind of to piggyback on that, early Terran aggression has really been minimized with this Mothership Core because... You know, like five marine, two marauder pressure uh, off of two base, or something, something like a, a nine-minute timing uh, going off of a one racks expand. You're usually going to have a mothership core. You're going to be pretty safe, and you can tech pretty aggressively. So we'll see what he can do. Of course, there's a recall ability. You recall straight back to your nexus, and there is a time warp, which is what Seed is probably going to use here, which uh, basically slows down the mining or the attack rate of uh, wherever the bubble, the green bubble, is at. Of course, that costs 100 energy. He is going to spot the barracks coming up from uh, Marine King. Marine King is going to go ahead and continue building that barracks. Command Center has completed for him. Looks like uh, the Mothership Core going to be a little bit safe. Doesn't want to overextend. Of course, it's not so expensive. It only costs 100 gas. But it's, it's very much like sentries. You need enough time to go ahead and get the energy to be able to use its abilities. So Seed now is going to expand behind it. Very, very quick Twilight Council coming up from Seed being built right in the main base, and a forge. This is possibly going to be Dark Shrine coming out from Seed, and Dark Shrine is actually a lot cheaper as well. So this can catch Marine King a little bit off guard, but just as I say that, in the production tab, we are seeing an engineering bay in the natural of Marine King. He is getting stim, continuing his marine production, has a bunker at the natural, so in case of any kind of early, um, you know, any mothership core, two zealots, stalker, pressure, He's going to be a little bit safe against it. He's not going to have a lot of Marines, obviously, just because his barracks just completed. But there is actually a Templar Archives. This is so much tech from Seed. 
it's seven minutes almost not even seven minutes it's almost seven minutes in the game and he is going straight into templar archives that is a lot a lot of tech getting plus one armor as well he does not have a lot of gateways guys he only has two gateways so what can this be uh very quick storm that's what it looks like maybe it's gonna be archons i guess time will tell we'll have to see what uh what he's gonna decide to do but stim's gonna finish here for marine king Sometimes you see a lot of Terran players go for this pretty quick stim. Right when it finishes, they want to hit a very strong two base timing. Plus one weapons in the production tab for Marine King. He's going to go ahead and throw down two reactors onto these barracks as well. So Marine King's just, you know, kind of establishing his, his structure. He's getting the tech labs, getting his upgrades. You're going to see Hallucinated Phoenix coming out for uh, LGIM Seed. Of course, this is free. You don't need to, uh, to upgrade Hallucination anymore. You just get the sentry, you get enough energy. Click the X button and you make uh, you make a phoenix. Economy, 42 uh, probes to 40 SCVs. Marine King going to go up to Starport. Factory has been done for some time, so we are going to be seeing his transition into Medivacs here rather soon. Maybe he's just going to you know go for two, four Medivacs and start to go ahead and push towards the uh, you know the center of the map to control these watchtowers. But again, another Scouting Phoenix for Seed. This is basically free, guys. It, it only costs mon uh, mana. Mana. Uh, I can never say it, whether it's mana or mana. But point being is, this is free. And this is very, very valuable scouting information Seed's getting. He's scouting the barracks. He's seeing the starport. So he's going to have a hunch uh, on when these medevacs are going to come out. But this storm is actually going to play very nicely for Seed. These Templars are super, super fast. He's getting charged. He's adding more gateways. Has he even started Storm? Okay, his Storm is done. So Seed actually has a tech advantage. Enable for Marine King to actually deal with this. He's going to need Ghosts unless he hits a timing before Seed gets a crazy amount of gateways to warp in Zealots, Stalkers, or what have you. Now we're going to see Marine King start to pressure on the center of the map. 100 in supply to 78. Both players still even in economy. Charge is almost halfway completed, which is going to help C tremendously if he can buy himself enough time to uh, to deal with this army. But one plus one is done. So uh, this this is actually a very very good timing from from uh, Marine King. But the problem is Storm. Five Templars, no ghosts at all. So comes to worse for Marine King. He's probably going to scout the storms or the Templar and decide to go ahead back home and then go into ghosts. But he's going into Armory, probably going to go into uh, Hellbats here very soon, continuing his SCVs, making more Medivacs, plus one, or, or Combat Shield's done, Force Field's being thrown down from Seed, will be able to uh, delay this push coming out from Marine King, but Marine King doesn't care, he's going to send them into the Medivacs, drop right in the main base, this is going to be like a two-pronged attack coming out from Marine King, and Seed's going to have to defend at once, all these storms, oh my god, everything dies right now for Marine King, but at the same time, excuse me, in the main base, we're going to see that crazy Photon Cannon, Marine King, Taking it, man. He took that hit with the with the storms. Lo basically lost all of his bio. This is all he has left. Gonna make the smart choice. Gonna lift up, do the Superman, ignite afterburner, speed, get out as if nothing happened. But that's that's this is such a cool build from Seed. I mean, rushing storm is very very risky, but it definitely played in his favor. Now now Marine King's gonna have to go into into ghosts. He's gonna add on more barracks. Still has not thrown down a ghost academy. So this can leave. Marine King to a timing, but Seed is actually just going to take a third. So, not a bad idea when you're kind of ahead. I guess get more ahead, uh, as, as a lot of casters like to say. So, he's going to take a third. Alright, Marine King has not thrown down a third CC yet, guys. Uh, this would usually be his third if he was going to take a third CC, but right now he is actually being very, very aggressive, loading up more Hellbats and more Marauders. And again, he's not making Ghosts, and Seed is still 11, 11 Templars. How is Marine King going to deal with 11 Templars without Ghosts? He's been on top of his upgrades. He's been making Hellbats, making basically Marine Marauder with a few Marines, uh, with a, excuse me, with a few uh, Hellbats. But it's, it's like, I mean, the supply count, 128, 152, but don't be fooled by the supply count. It's actually the tech right now. Seed has storms that are completely unanswered, but this actually might swing back the game right now for Marine King. He's going to drop so much into the main base. Storm's already going off, so Seed, knowing something like this is going to come, 
But is that going to be enough? Looks like he's going to throw down that time warp. These Marines are not going to be able to do so much. Probes need to evacuate the main base. And this is actually a very, very good pick off here. Picking off the Nexus Marine King. Uh, really, really well done. Uh, I'm going to give props to Marine King here. Uh, I did not expect it to do that much damage. I mean, Seed had storms in position. He just did not have enough Templars. Now we see uh, Marine King, 162 supply to 126. He definitely wants to finish this game very, very soon. He's not taking a third. So that's something very, very important to take into consideration here is Marine King's on two base. Seed is on three base. But there's no ghosts. So Marine King knows. He has to go kill his opponent now uh, if he's going to win this game. We'll see what he can make happen. Very close to maxing out. 176 to 142. Seed's going to spot this. Marine King's going to have to micro his booty off to be able to deal with these High Templars. Hellbats are going to be able to do uh, a little bit here against these Zealots. Storm's going off a little bit on his own Zealots there by Seed. Not the greatest Storms, honestly, here by Seed. Wasting a lot of energy. But nine Templars remaining. He's kind of just zoning them out, I guess. Now it looks like Seed might be going for a counter, but he does not have a proxy pylon or anything. And Seed might have actually made a mistake, but he's going to storm once again. And Marine King splitting very, very nicely. And these storms are so good by Seed. Is it going to be enough, though? He has so much energy, but Marine King has so much bio. Oh my god, so many Marines, Marauders, and Hellbats still remain right now for Marine King. And uh, that's that was actually good for Marine King. I, I feel... That he can just rally more units across the map. Again, really nice storms here by Seed. This is so close for both players. Seed trying to just warp in anything back home. But now we're going to see supplies are pretty even. These Zealots are going to be able to dice. What are the upgrades? Plus two armor compared to 2-2. Two, two. Marine King has an advantage in the upgrades. He has more units. And he's in a very, very good position. But is it going to be enough? These cannons are going to be able to help out a little bit. Does he have enough energy for storms? He's going to get the feedbacks onto the medevacs. And now we're going to see Marine King still continuing to step back and forth to try to focus down these zealots but that is a lot of zealots here being warped in from seed marine king uh is he running out of options he's still on two base and this is this has me worried okay now marine king's gonna throw down a third command center 17 minutes into the game and he really needs really really needs ghosts i feel like if he had ghosts with that push it would have been so much more in his favor if he was able to get the mps onto these templars but Seed has been defending very, very nicely. And this is going to be, again, more trouble for Seed. He does have some Zealots and Templar here already in the main base. Does he have enough energy for Storm? He does. He's going to storm some of these medevacs. Great feedbacks as well. Is it going to be enough, though? This is so much units here for Marine King. I mean, how many medevacs? That's like 10 medevacs, guys. Loaded with Marine Marauder. Seed having some trouble defending all fronts at once. That super medevac speed is just so hard to deal with. Marine King's going to go ahead and micro again. More storms coming up. Oh my god, he almost got so many of these medevacs. Look at this. They're all in the red of the orange, but in the third base. Marine King still marching. So, so aggressive right now. Is uh, really kind of testing the multitasking of Seed right now. He's going to try to focus down more cannons. Seed's going to be able to send uh, the majority of his units with these Archons and some Stalkers. Seed's upgrades are pretty good. He just has no upgrades in, in weapons at all. And 3-3 is going to finish here very, very soon for Marine King. Marine King's just rallying more units. Uh, he doesn't care. I mean, even though he's losing, he's still keeping Seed on his side of the map, right? Uh, he's dropping in the main. He's forcing Seed to kind of, you know, how many units do I split? How many do I put in the third? How many do I put in the main? These kinds of questions and actions are actually very, very hard to do when you're put in that situation. But I feel like Marine King kind of has to just play, play safe. Kind of maybe go back. Maybe start going up to Ghosts. He is going to go ahead and take this third. He's going to land it. Very, very late third for Marine King. But he has a lot of barracks. And, in fact, his main is basically mined out. So he's going to lift this command center. So this is kind of like a double expansion, I guess, from, uh, from Marine King. He's ahead in upgrades. Uh, he is ahead in supply. He was ahead in supply. Now we're going to see Seed get very, very close. 147 to 146. Seed has still not started on any plus one weapons or any weapons upgrades for his gateway units, which has me really, really worried. But he's defended very, very nicely. So I think now the game's kind of just going to stabilize. Both players are going to go ahead and macro up. Seed, it would be very, very risky for him to take a fourth expansion now. He does have a lot of minerals, but he's probably going to try to just warp in as, as much stuff as possible. Some Archons, some Zealots. Might even see a, uh, a transition here into Colossus as we see... A robotics facility already up. Second robotics facility. He can do this. He can actually double, uh, double 
produce Colossus off of three base economy. He has enough gas to do so. But Marine King might be going for it once again. Getting a scan. Usually when you scan, you just you want to be able to spot your opponent's units and see it's gonna know. Probably gonna go for an attack. He's gonna get a nice storm. We'll be able to get a lot of these units into the red which is going to force uh, a lot of these medevacs to use their energy. Even Seed's going to take another base, so Seed feeling confident uh, defending against this. And I'm going to keep going back to this, guys. There is no ghosts. Marine King's just making bio. So I guess he's confident, too, for, for controlling his units against, uh, against High Templar. That's extremely, extremely hard to do. But we'll see what we can make happen. Looks like uh, both players are basically maxed out. 199 supply, 200. Storm's going off for Seed. Seed has a lot of Zealots. These Immortals are going to be able to do very, uh, very good in the battle against Marauders. But it looks like Seed, or excuse me, Marine King going to gear up for an attack. Again, he's just throwing Storm. Seed is basically trying to force Marine King into the Storms, and he's trying to do that. Marine King's going to try to split again. More Storms going off. Seed is going to force the engagement. And this is just so many units from Seed taking out so much bio. But Marine King showing us the splits and the control, focusing down all of these Archons, but Seed, is he going to have enough? This is actually so, so close. Marine is going to have a supply advantage now, but these Zealots and the Immortals are going to come in from the back. Seed, is he going to be able to clean this up? Uh, looks like he actually will be able to defend it for the time being. So now we're going to see Marine King kind of think twice. He's going to go back, and uh, Seed going to go back, going to warp in his uh, some Templars and some more Zealots. And he's making Immortals. Okay. Uh, hmm... So he's not making Colossus. I don't even think he has a robotics bay at all on the map. Okay, so I guess, I mean, Seed's army composition basically is going to consist of Immortals, Zealots, and Stalkers. And this is actually, uh, you know, pretty good against what Marine King's doing. I mean, if he makes Colossus, Marine King can transition into Vikings, right? But I, I think Marine King only has one starport. Yeah, Marine King only has one starport. How many medevacs does he have? He has eight medevacs. So regardless, I still think a transition into Colossus now would be good. And just like that, Robotic Spay is in the production for Seed. So we're definitely going to be seeing Double Robo Colossus here very, very shortly. Seed's fourth has been saturated. Good amount of probes, 69 to 49. So um, Marine King doesn't really have to worry about having a crazy amount of SCVs just because he can use his mules and he has a good amount of minerals. But he's going to go again. He's going to try to, uh, you know keep Seed on his side of the map. Gonna try to force, force an engagement here at the third expansion. Seed's gonna micro back, but at the same time, the fourth expansion, Marauders and Marines being dropped. Marine King is everywhere on this map, but still, these storms can actually do so much. Seed is being so patient. Really good decision making, not just throwing any random storms, but these Marines and Marauders actually did a good amount of damage. A lot of workers killed. More Zealots being Marine King might even just kind of, uh, it's just, I mean, Marine King is really kind of pacing out this game. Seed hasn't had an opportunity to go for any kind of a counterattack. He's been playing very, very defensive. Marine King going to scan. He's going to spot this. He does not care. He's going to see all these Immortals. This is going to be enough. Those Storms going up. 172 supply to 130 for Seed. These Immortals going to do a good amount of damage, but this is just so much bio and no Storms actually going off just yet. And this is, I think this is going to be very, very close. Seed holding on by the skin of his teeth. Marauders and Marines coming out from multiple angles. These, these Medivacs are going to repair. And this is just so close. 80 supply, Seed warping in some Zealots, Marine King, has he done it? It looks like he has, so Marine King takes a 3-1 to one lead in this best of 7 series.